Hello gamers! Today, we are checking out Intel's ARC B580 Battlemage GPU in the form of Acer Nitro ARC B580 overclocked 12GB graphics card. This mainstream GPU is primarily aimed at 1080p and 1440p gaming. You've probably already seen the initial reviews, which have received generally positive feedback from the review community. I was particularly curious about this graphics card since it's my first experience with an Intel gaming GPU. Is it really that good? Is it a better alternative to NVIDIA's RTX 4060 or AMD's RX 7600 XT? Let's find out. We are not gonna deep dive into the ARC B580's architecture in this review. I'm sure most of you will jump right to the benchmark results anyway, but I'm going to give you a quick summary. At its core, the ARC B580 features Intel's BMGG 21 GPU, built on the XE2 architecture. Manufactured using TSMC's N5 process, it packs 19.6 billion transistors. The GPU includes 20 XE cores, five render slices, 20 ray tracing units, 160 Z matrix extensions, and 160 Z vector engines. The Intel Arc B580 operates at a graphics clock speed of 2,670 megahertz and has a total board power of 190 watts. The card also comes with 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, running at 19 gigabits per second, which delivers a bandwidth of 456 gigabytes per second on a 192-bit interface. I tested the Acer Nitro Arc B580OC, which operates at a graphics clock speed of 2740 megahertz. The card measures 268 millimeters in length, 113 millimeters in width, and 40 millimeters in thickness, requiring just two PCI slots. It only requires a single 8-pin PCIe power connector and a minimum 600 watt power supply. While the card lacks RGB lighting, it includes zero decibel fan stop technology and features a metal backplate with a flow-through vent for improved cooling. For testing, I paired the Acer Nitro Intel Arc B580 with an MSI X870E carbon Wi-Fi motherboard, powered by an AMD Ryzen 9 9900X. The system also featured a 64 gigabyte G-Skill Trident Z5 Neo RGB DDR5 memory kit, running at 6,000 megatransfers per second with a latency of 30 cycles. Let's dive into how it performs. At 1080p, the Intel Arc B580 delivered mixed performance results, varying by game. In some titles, it outperformed the RTX 4060, while in others, it fell short. The Arc B580 excelled in The Witcher 3 and Red Dead Redemption 2, showcasing strong performance. However, in Call of Duty, where AMD GPUs typically perform well, the RX 7600 XT matched the RTX 4060 Ti, leaving both the RTX 4060 and ARC B580 behind. When averaging FPS results across all tested games, the B580 was only 1% to 2% faster than the RTX 4060. The RX 7600 XT, on the other hand, showed about a 6% lead over the B580, excluding Call of Duty, where the RX 7600 XT was 41% faster than the B580, its overall advantage narrowed to around 3%. The Nitro Intel Arc B580 demonstrated a clear performance improvement at 1440p resolution. At 1440p, the Arc B580 outpaced the RTX 4060 by approximately 9%, whereas both GPUs performed similarly at 1080p. Additionally, while the RX 7600 XT held an advantage over the Arc B580 at 1080p, the Arc B580 reversed the gap at 1440p, outperforming the RX 7600 XT by about 5%, even when including Call of Duty, where AMD GPUs excel. The RTX 4060 Ti remained faster overall delivering about 14% better performance than the Arc B580. However, with only 8 gigabytes of VRAM and a $399 price tag, the RTX 4060 Ti offers less value compared to the Arc B580. The Arc B580's 12 gigabytes of RAM provides a clear advantage for achieving smoother gameplay, particularly at higher resolutions.
I tested the ARC B580's ray tracing capabilities in only one game. Although I planned to include The Witcher 3, I encountered issues with incorrect shadow lighting and ray tracing effects when RT was enabled. When it comes to temperature, Acer's Nitro Intel Arc B580 OC graphics card runs quietly and stays cool. During my tests, its minimum temperature was around 54 degrees Celsius only. Even during prolonged gaming sessions and stress tests, the card peaked at just 62 degrees Celsius, with an average operating temperature of around 58 degrees Celsius. The Intel Arc B580 offers a refreshing value in a market where affordability and performance rarely align. While it doesn't top the charts, it consistently outperforms NVIDIA and AMD in its category at a competitive price. However, I need to emphasize that the Intel Arc B580, while impressive, especially at 1440p, requires resizable bar and a fast, newer generation CPU to deliver optimal performance. Paired with an older or entry-level CPU, its performance dips significantly, making the RTX 4060 the better option instead. Finally, for those considering third-party options, the Acer Nitro Arc B580 is an excellent pick. It forgoes flashy aesthetics, but delivers a practical two-slot design with great thermals and solid performance out of the box. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. You can expect more GPU reviews coming your way very soon.